for now, bitch. <laughs> so, guys, the one thing I've taken away from this film is that Teresa Palmer was a great, great ass. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to my world. So yeah, Triple Nine, this film, it made it on to my most anticipated list of 2016. And rightly so, I mean, did you see the trailer? The trailer was so, so good. It's just a shame that the trailer sort of misled the movie as a whole. So it yeah, really I is. saw Triple Nine uh, last night with my good buddy Harry. Uh, you might know him from my Dragon Ball Z movie night. If you haven't seen that, check that out. I'll link it here. But yeah, we went to the cinema to check this out and <laughs> we came out. I'm not even lying when I say this. I We came out and there was a few cop cars and a lot, a lot of coppers. And yeah, it was really weird. It was really weird. But yeah, we were so glad to have gone on Cheap Tuesday. <laughs> to simply put it, we was. So yeah, like I said with the trailer misleading it, we thought we was getting a cool heist movie. But that's not what you get. Instead, you get a sort of slow crime drama. That's what you get. Um, I mean, it, it had its moments, They, but they were... They were so few and far between that for the most part we were bored. Yeah, I mean, let me put it this way. Do you remember looking forward to the GTA heists? Because I do. I remember looking so forward to them. And then when I got them, they just, some of them just felt like they weren't all that. They looked cool. But they didn't feel that, and that's what this film is. This film is GTA heists. It's like, ah, oh, it's got the potential. It looks cool. Uh, no. <laughs> now, let's look at the cast of this film, because you have got some big, big names. You've got Chiwetel Ejiofor. You've got Norman Reedus. You've got Aaron Paul. You've got Woody Harrelson. You've got Anthony Mackie. You got Casey Affleck, you got Kate Winslet, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, whatever. So her yeah, name big is. cast full of big names. And to be honest with you guys, it's just the cast members in this, some of them anyways, were so underutilized to the point that they didn't need to be big name actors. They could have been a nobody, they could have been an up and comer, it could have been someone in their first film. Uh, and it would have made no difference whatsoever. Um, yeah, they, they did not need big names and a big cast of big names, like a load of big names. They didn't need it at all. <laughs> However, talking of the big cast, some of the performances were quite good. I mean, I liked Chiwetel Ejiofor as an actor. I liked Woody Harrelson and K Casey Affleck was all right in this. Um, although he said... <laughs> He seemed to be chewing gum a lot. I th every scene, every scene he was <laughs> chewing gum. Seriously. That's what it was like in this movie. Every time you saw him, it was like, I swear, <laughs> half, half this film's budget must have gone on freaking packets of gum just for him. I'm not even joking when I say it. He was like, he was like, did you ever get that student in school that was always just sat there while you was trying to work and he was just like <coughs> blowing a bubble and then popping it and <coughs> that that's what Casey Affleck was like in this film. He was that kid in school chewing. And yeah, gum. that's what Casey Affleck was like in this film. He was that kid. It was like I was sat there like, fuck off, Casey, I'm trying to do my nine times tables. <laughs> also, talking to the cast, you do get a small cameo in there uh, from someone you may know. Uh, I won't say who their name is. All I'm going to say is they come in and they come in in drag. <laughs> we saw that and me and my friend looked at each other and we were just like, that's... <laughs> So yeah, overall this film had a few good scenes, 
again, it had its dull ones that went along with it. Um, personally, for me, I loved the opening, uh, but you have seen some of that in the trailer. Um, I also loved a scene that came later on in the film where they have to raid this sort of gangland. And for me, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the scenes I liked. Um, they do have another job at the end, but again, it was sort of, it left me underwhelmed to the point I was thinking GTA Heist, where like, mm, could have been better and everything. Although there was one cool moment in that job to do with a phone call and a boot. So I'll give them that. Some parts in this <laughs> film were really, really predictable. Uh, I knew they were coming. Uh, other parts, not so much. Some parts did catch me off guard, which I thought was cool. Because it didn't mean the whole film was predictable. The action was good at times. Um, and it really, really could get brutal. It really could. <laughs> Uh, but like I say, the action was so few and far between that overall this film did drag a bit and it did come across quite well. Also, boring. I don't know whether it's just me or did this ending feel really, really weird? Like, to those of you who have seen it, did it feel like, like to me it felt like it could have ended at so many points. It felt like it was, <laughs> could have ended there. And then it was still going, and then it could have ended, and it just kept going and going, and I was sat there, and I felt like they had one ending written down in the script, and then someone came along and was like, no, let's not end it there, add another two minutes. And then someone wasn't happy with that, and they was like, no, let's not end it there, let's add another two minutes. And so on, and so on. And to me, it felt so weird, like, when I was sat there, and I was just like... Is this film going to end? And <laughs> that's literally it. It felt weird to watch the ending anyway. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm glad I went on the cheap day because I probably would have felt more negative towards this film if I'd paid full price. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a film that I wouldn't pay full price to see. Uh, if you can check it out cheaper, do that. But uh, it's one of those films I definitely would wait to be on, like, saying, like, Netflix or Amazon Instant Video. Um, it's, this film, Triple Nine, is this is one of those films that you'd get on Netflix that's not a great, it's not a good film, but it's rated so highly on Netflix. It, it, it really is. It's one of those films that someone could be like, that film's rubbish, or that film's not great. But you go on Netflix and it's five stars. It's <laughs> Netflix is weird sometimes. So yeah, guys, anyways, have you seen Triple Nine? If you have, let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Uh, if you've liked this, leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, check out some of my other content. I'll link a few videos here and in the uh, description below. But yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See you later. Thanks for making it to the end of the video guys. If you've liked the video that you've just been watching then don't be afraid to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe for more content. Why not try some of my other videos right now linked here. You've got movie reviews, movie nights, trailer reactions and more. Guys thanks for watching and as always.